Hi, this is Peter from Anatomy Zone, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the arterial supply to the foot. This tutorial follows on from the one I did on the arterial supply to the leg. The foot is supplied by branches of the anterior and posterior tibial arteries. We've got the anterior tibial artery here in yellow, and the posterior tibial in pink. The anterior tibial artery becomes the dorsalis pedis artery, which is the dorsal artery of the foot, and you can see that highlighted here in green. The posterior tibial artery, on the other hand, terminates by dividing into the medial and lateral plantar arteries. And you can see the medial plantar artery given off in the blue colour, and the lateral plantar artery given off in the yellow. So let's take a look at the dorsalis pedis artery and its branches. Now, I've just zoomed in a little bit closer, and we can take a look at the branches. So the dorsalis pedis artery gives off tarsal arteries, it gives off the first dorsal metatarsal artery, and it also gives off the arcuate artery. So proximally, in a light blue and dark blue colour, are the tarsal arteries, and you've got lateral and medial tarsal arteries. As you can see here laterally, the lateral tarsal artery here anastomoses with this branch of the dorsalis pedis artery in yellow, the arcuate artery. So you can see how the dorsalis pedis artery divides to give off the arcuate artery, and it also gives off this branch, the first dorsal metatarsal artery, which is shaded in red. So if I just move the model a little bit distally, we can see that the arcuate artery gives off these three metatarsal arteries. So it gives off the metatarsal arteries two to four. The first metatarsal artery comes directly off the dorsalis pedis artery. And then looking distally, you can see how the metatarsal arteries divide into two. So they divide into dorsal digital arteries, which supply the distal phalanges. You might notice that there isn't a fifth dorsal metatarsal artery, and you can see that the little toe is actually supplied by a branch of the fourth dorsal metatarsal artery. Looking at the first dorsal metatarsal artery, this one's slightly different. So it divides into two branches. One branch supplies the medial hallux, and the other branch divides into two, just like the other metatarsal arteries, to supply the lateral aspect of the hallux and the second toe. I've just switched to a different view, and what we can see here is a branch of the dorsalis pedis artery, which links it to the arterial supply on the plantar aspect of the foot. This artery is the deep plantar artery, and it connects the dorsalis pedis to the plantar arch on the plantar aspect of the foot. So let's take a look now at the branches of the posterior tibial artery, which supply the plantar arteries of the foot. We're looking now at a medial view of the foot, and we can see the posterior tibial artery in purple. So this artery divides into the medial and lateral plantar arteries, which I described before. The medial plantar artery highlighted in light blue, and the lateral plantar artery highlighted in yellow. Just before the posterior tibial artery terminates into these medial and lateral plantar arteries, it gives off a communicating branch which joins the communicating branch of the fibular artery, and it also gives off this calcaneal branch, which you can see in green. So I've just rotated the model around, so we're looking at a plantar view of the foot. The medial plantar artery is the smaller of the two arteries, and it runs alongside the medial aspect of the foot. It gives off a superficial branch as it approaches to the base of the first metatarsal. You can see these two branches here, one in red and one in orange, so there's a deep and a superficial branch. The superficial branch then anastomoses with a branch of the first plantar metatarsal artery, which you can see here. So coming back to this view, we've got in yellow the lateral plantar artery. So this is the larger of the two plantar arteries, and if we follow its course, we can see that it gives off this branch, which I've highlighted in red, that supplies the small toe. This is the lateral plantar digital artery of the fifth toe. So if I just rotate the model around slightly again, we can return to see the artery here highlighted in a light blue colour. This is the deep plantar artery from the dorsalis pedis artery, and this joins this branch highlighted in green of the lateral plantar artery to form the plantar arch. The plantar arch, as you can see, runs from the base of the fifth metatarsal to the first interosseous space. And just like on the dorsal surface, the arcuate artery gives rise to four plantar metatarsal arteries, which you can see here in purple. And these again divide into two plantar digital arteries, which you can see distally in light blue colour. I've just changed the angle slightly so we can see the first plantar metatarsal artery arising just after the point where the deep plantar artery joins the plantar arch. So just like on the dorsal surface of the foot, on the plantar surface, the first plantar metatarsal artery divides into two. It sends one branch medially to supply the medial aspect of the hallux, and the other branch divides into two plantar digital arteries highlighted in blue, which supply the second toe and the lateral aspect of the hallux. The medial branch of the first plantar metatarsal artery anastomoses with this superficial branch of the medial plantar artery, which I showed you earlier. The final thing to mention is that there are perforating arteries which pass from the plantar to dorsal aspect, and there are three of these which you can see here. So that's the arterial supply to the foot.